you, this is the dry washer upside down, inverted from its operating position. Here's the flapper valve. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I want to clean that neoprene. So I'm going to press on the other side and I'm going to draw a circle on that neoprene with a felt pin and then I'm going to take the neoprene flapper out and clean it. Okay, I'm going to take the chop saw and I'm going to make a hex, hex uh, size here. So, break the edges with the angle grinder. Acetone. I'm going to clean the inside of that circle. And I'm going to clean this. I'm going to rough this up a little bit with some um, 60 grade sandpaper and then wash it with acetone. Then I'm going to put some adhesive between the two and I'm going to put a heavy weight on top and let it set for a few hours. Okay, there we go. Octagon on one side, I'll put a fender washer on the back side. And I'm hoping that's not too much weight. We'll put it back. Okay. I've left the strut off because that's the next project. Flapper valve. I don't know if that's viewable in here. Okay, I put the tray back in. Okay, there we go. I noticed that Mobile Tech told me that the reason there's such a gap here is because the riffle board is not in all the way. But he's wrong. This riffle board is in all the way. You can see it's flush here and it's butted all the way up against its stop and there's still that gap there. I call this modification completed.